back to my channel. My name is Ajwa and I hope you're all doing fine. If you're a returning subscriber, I truly appreciate your support. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. So today I have an exciting one. It is from Latafa. It's a recent one from the Al Noble line known as Amir. Amir means Prince. It is a very beautiful bottle, black with gold cup. And the cup is a, is a mousse or a deer. That is how the cup is. It's truly elegant and beautiful. It comes in a very simple box, you know, for such an elegant bo bottle. The box is quite a simple one. It is just a simple cardboard gold, you know, with um, the black head on it, the black mousse head on it. It is quite simple, but the elegance in the bottle is unmatched. So let's get to the juice itself. I tried looking up for the notes and other information about this fragrance online on Latafe's website, on other websites, and I really couldn't find anything. There is absolutely no information about this fragrance. It doesn't even have the notes, um, what it is trying to dupe. Most Latafa fragrances actually dupe niche or high-end fragrances. But this one, I couldn't, there is absolutely nothing on it. But my research led me to the Penhaligan house. And even from the bottle, you can tell that the, it's a telltale of Penhaligan. Just that it's not the actual um, bottle itself, but the, the cup. My research led me to a fragrance known as The Tragedy of the Lord George by Penhaligans. The bottle is quite different, but the cup is absolutely the same. It's the same mousse um, cup. So the tragedy of the Lord George is part of the portrait collection by Penhaligans, and this bottle is mimicking it. Ironically, when I also looked up the notes uh, and I couldn't find anything, I was trying to check how it actually smells, and it gave me something quite um, reminiscent of something I have in my collection. What I personally detect from this fragrance is purely um, praline, with some tonka bean and vanilla you know which makes it quite edible and because it also reminds me of something i already have in my collection i was trying to compare those ones to and i realized that i can detect some some brandy some sort of um cognac in it so it's it's a telltale of when i looked up um the lord of the the tragedy of the lord george it gave me very similar or the same notes. The Lord George has tonka bean, praline, woods, and cognac. And surprisingly, these are the similar notes I smell in this, which also reminds me of a Latafa fragrance known as Camera. When it, it, it's not the same, it doesn't really smell the same, but the dry down of these two are quite um, similar. So if you have camera you will definitely also enjoy amir by latafa they are from the same brand so the dry down of those two give me um similar vibes my best bet for this fragrance is that it's mimicking or it's an alternative to um lord george which is a penhaligans fragrance which also has the cognac vanilla tonka bean woody praline um notes so um to me this is a similar in a similar family as the camera you know as a camera by latafa that is the one that i know and i have used but um since it's a it's supposed to be a penhaligans fragrance and i have not tried that particular one i cannot really tell um anything i cannot really say much about it because i i don't know about the fragrance so if you have tried that fragrance maybe you can let me know how it actually smells like but from all indications and from the bottle which is a telltale indication of um the tragedy of the lord george with the the notes that i you can get from this one it is giving me an indication or my best bet is that it is duping that particular penhaligas fragrance amir is a matured sophisticated quite simple and delicious fragrance it smells edible because of the praline and the tonka bean and the cognac that um, you can smell in it it comes across as quite edible and on the dry down you can detect some 
you know, faintly some, because I think because of the praline, which has some chocolatey notes, you can get some chocolatey notes, you know, at the very dry down of, the, of this fragrance. So just imagine um, cognac with some chocolate, with some tonka bean. That is how this one comes across. It is very luxurious. The smell is not too overpowering. It comes across as very luxurious. It gives this demure, um, old money vibes. You know, a lot of times we, uh, people reference fragrances as old money, bougie, you know, a whole lot. But this truly gives that old money vibes. It is not one that, you know, a lot of people would understand or appreciate it is not polarizing but it is not um, a crowd pleasing scent that people would you know normally go for so it is um a niche it, it has a very niche vibe to it it is niche but very wearable during the winter this would really suit that um, weather. These Middle Eastern fragrances are made for people, you know, in the Middle Eastern and Africa and all over the world. And they, they don't have winter, but they still wear it, you know. It depends on how many sprays you do so that it doesn't become choking or cloying. But I think it will also be perfect for a, a colder winter weather. That is my... Um, that is what I get from this particular fragrance. It is very beautiful. The longevity and projection of this is, however, average. I get a good um, three to four hours on my skin and maybe five, five, six hours on clothes. It's not a beast mode. It doesn't announce your presence. So if you want something, you know, um, demure, elegant, matured, then I would definitely recommend Amir to you. It is elegant. The bottle itself is elegant. It's just, you know, simple with this ornate cup, you know, and mimicking what I believe is um, the tragedy of the Lord Church. And it's, it's you know, from even um, people's assumption of the tragedy of the Lord George, they give the same impression that it's also a classic, sophisticated, you know, mature scent. And that is exactly what I get from this particular fragrance. So Amir retails between the $35 to $45 range. Um, but unfortunately, I've not been able to get any, you know, online shop, you know, the fragrance shops on online. You can't find this online, which is quite strange to me because most Latafa fragrances, once they are released, you get them online, you get them in shop. I was able to get this particular bottle from a shop um, locally here in Ghana, but um, I can't even find a lot about it in any online, you know, shop that I can recommend to you. But I would, I would link the shop in Ghana from where I got this particular bottle from. I'm sure very soon it will be available around shops, you know, worldwide. That is my belief. So you can just look out for this one. There are three in this um, Al Nobo line. The black one, there is the green one, and then there is the orange, bent orange one. I've seen um, Georgette's Fragrance World reviewing all three. And I've also seen Smelly Cats introducing the, the green one. Uh, this one is truly an elegant piece. And it will make, uh, you know, it will look nice on your shelf. And it will also make you smell great. So it's a win for me. It's actually a win for me. Please consider subscribing. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Bye-bye.